Hey everyone, it's Jamie Rubase, and I thought it'd be fun to show you a quick tutorial on how you can create a dramatic sky or bring back a sky in Lightroom. Um, and we're going to use the graduated filter for this. And since I live in the desert, I do a lot of sky images. We have amazing sunsets in the desert. And so I like to, to use the sky a lot in my images. So for this particular tutorial, you want to make sure that your sky is not actually completely blown out. Um, I have made some basic adjustments and some other adjustments to this image, but you can tell by looking at my histogram that I still have a lot of detail um, in my sky. And you can actually kind of see some of the clouds there. I did bring down um, my highlights slider quite a bit, so if I bring it back to zero, um, even set at zero, you can see that I still have some detail there. So I will be able to use my graduated filter and really enhance this sky. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my graduated filter and I want to go ahead and select exposure to start and I can make some additional adjustments here. One thing I want to be cautious of is that she is partially in the sky area. Um, her skin is a little bit bright, so I think I do have some room to bring down the exposure on this, but you just want to be careful how much you bring it down. Obviously, um, I wouldn't want to bring the exposure down on her skin too much, but I'm going to start up here at the top and I'm going to drag down, and if I hold my shift key, it's going to straighten out my graduated filter, and I'm making it so the middle line just goes right above her head, and the reason I'm doing that is because any adjustment your graduate filter starts out strong and of course graduates out so any of the adjustments above this line are going to be a lot stronger than below this line where it starts to fade out so and I can even maybe pull that up just a tiny bit um, so it's not so much in her head and that way when I because my exposure is brought down it's not um, bringing it down in this area as much as it is up here so um, the default is minus 1.66 and I can adjust this if I want to so maybe I don't want it quite that much um, I can bring it back up just a little bit it gets a little bit dark on the top there and then I can also use um, my highlight slider let's say I just want to bring down my highlights maybe get a little bit more um, detail or I, if I don't like that I can even bring it up um, so it's just up to you what you want to do I'm going to bring down my highlights a little bit more and if you're working on a silhouette, you can easily adjust um, your temperature and tint sliders here too, so that you can um, add more color into your sky. I don't really want to do it for this image because I'm going to start affecting her skin tones, but I'm going to show you another way real quick that I can um, adjust the color in the sky. So I have my graduated filter, and if I toggle on and off here, and I have another graduated filter on the bottom that I applied, but you can kind of see the before and after. And then the last thing I'm going to do is just head down to my hue saturation luminance panel and I'm going to go right into my luminance and I'm going to select the blue color channel and I'm going to just decrease the luminance on my blue color channel slightly. And I could even go into saturation and see I've already pulled up um, the aquas and the blues just slightly on this. It's going to change the color of her dress because it falls into that color range, but it doesn't bother me. Um, I actually like it. So if we go into before and after view, you can see now um, just by a simple graduated filter and a couple hue saturation adjustments that we've really created a nice dramatic sky for this image.